Good afternoon everyone, welcome to my latest video, thank you very much for tuning in, I really appreciate it, I really appreciate all the comments, likes and subscribes that I'm getting as well, um, and the messages that you obviously continue to send, I really appreciate them, so thank you very much for that. Um, so when I started this channel, I said, obviously I started it on the back of DWP stuff, um, but I did say at the time that it was about perception change, and trying to obviously help people change their mind about themselves and about the world, Um and obviously to give people a bit of belief and a bit of hope to maybe try and get through whatever it is they're going through, whether that's a mental health problem problem, or a family issue or, or, or whatever it is. Um, and I think, I think this video will contribute and it will go some long way to doing that um, because it's what I'm about to reveal to you. I mean, maybe some, maybe some of you have heard it, I don't know, like, but I hadn't heard of it until four weeks ago. But what I'm about to reveal to you should give you some hope. Um, and as you can see from the title, um, the benefits of nature exercise and the the, the pharma pharmacy within your body um, and that's that's exactly what it is there, there is a pharmacy that's operating within your body now I'm sure that um, anyone that's done any kind of sport um, any running jogging even just doing your housework and getting it completed um, you obviously feel you feel a sense of accomplishment obviously but um, you feel good you feel energized you feel alert you feel ready. Well, there's a reason for that. And yes, when you exercise, um, you release neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin and things like that, which obviously dopamine, um, that's, that's, that's the, happy, the happy hormone, isn't it? And then I think it's oxytocin, it's the love, hor the, they call it the love hormone. Um, so that's, that's, that's obviously one reason for it. But there's another reason for it. There's these things that I found out about four weeks, four weeks ago it was, um, that they're calling them hope molecules. Now, the scientific name for them, I'd only just seen this the other day there, so I was calling them hope molecules up until three days ago, are myokins. Um, and basically what it is, is your muscles, they secrete these proteins, which are known as myokins. And the only way to get them out of there and into the bloodstream is by contracting your muscles, it's lifting weights, running, walking, whatever it is. And what happens is once you do that, the muscles then dump the proteins into your bloodstream and carry them to your brain. And studies have shown that they, they have helped people with mental health problems, they've helped people cover, uh, recover from trauma, uh, trauma, sorry, they've, they, they, um, they help people recover from depression, um, they improve mind stability, they improve, I mean, it's good for, the, for, for, for brain health, as I've said before, the brain's a muscle, and one of the ways, one of the, 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 the ways to sort of keep it young is to learn new things well this is another way so anytime you're sort of anytime i've since i've learned this been feeling low about a workout which has been quite a lot over the last three weeks i'll be honest with you um i've just been thinking like well i'm feeling a little bit low just now i'm not really feeling up to it but i have to keep in mind that my body is like a pharmacy or my muscles are like a pharmacy and the only way to get these antidepressants out because that's what they act like they act like antidepressants by the time they get to the brain the only way to get them out is to sort of start moving my muscles. And I've noticed it many times where like the first sort of 10 minutes of my workout, I, I, I'd be like, this is this is really hard today. I, I, I think I maybe want to turn around just now. And there was back years ago when I thought when I used to do it, I would, I would almost always turn around at that point. Um, now, obviously, I don't. Now, it takes usually about 8, 10 minutes. And then I get this like the horrible feeling that I've had, really tired, puffing and panting. <laughs> it just completely disappears. And I, I wonder if it's by the time these myokins are carried to the brain and they start dumping them in there as an antidepressant, I wonder if that's maybe got something to do with it that helps release the dopamine and the neurotransmitters. It more than likely is. Um, and the only way to obviously do that is to find motivation to start working out. Now, my, 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 um, my routine, I tell people my routine sometimes and they, they look at you like you're crazy and I always say to them, it's like, but... I didn't start off thinking I was going to do that routine. In fact, if you had told me when I started off that I was going to do that routine, then I would have been depressed um, beyond words and absolutely hopeless. There's just no way I would have done it. So I've heard many times that walking is a superpower, and this will be one of the reasons why. I mean, walking is amazing. It really is. The amount of times where I've been kind of stressed out or been trying to sort out a problem in my head or whatever, and you just go for a walk, and then you start to forget about what you were stressed about and then you come back and a few hours later you've got the answer to it. I can't tell you how many times that's bloody happened. Don't get me wrong, like I've 
walked lo miles and miles and miles and not came to an answer, but there's many times where, I've ha where, where I have, and the benefits of nature are obviously, they're, they're there to be seen as well. Now, if you think about that, um, think about it if you sit in the morning um, and you're not feeling very well, um, provided you can walk and you can move, it's just in your, it's just, it's just mental health, then just keep in mind that there is antidepressants within my muscles and the only way for me to get them out into my bloodstream and into my brain is by contracting the muscles. So, and eventually, I mean, many you'll agree, like if you, the first 10 minutes, like I've just said, there a workout, it's horrible, but once you pass that threshold, it's, it's, um, it's easy. It, it just does, you just don't feel like that anymore. Well, I don't anyway, maybe people are different and it's possible they are different to that, but I'm sure there'll be people out there that'll, that'll know what I'm talking about. And it's obviously related to this. Now, the benefits of nature have obviously been there to be seen for people as well. Um, so if you can exercise in nature, then there can only be double benefits. And when you actually do that, it, 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 it's been shown in all these studies that it increases brain productivity, um, which it makes you more eager to learn, um, it makes you less, less susceptible to depression or mental health problems. Um, like I say, it'll kill your trauma. Now, it's easy for me to sit here and say that, oh, well, that's what you need to do. All you need to do is contract your muscles and, and, and you'll have antidepressants that go to your brain. Now, I spoke, as you can imagine, I spoke to many, many people who were authentic and inauthentic with regards to their mental health problems who had informed me that they didn't leave or very rarely left the house. Now, that I've said before as well, that obviously comes in with the way the sun works. We need photons. We're like house plants with complicated emotions. We need plenty of water, plenty of loving care and um, plenty of sunlight. So if you're not getting any sunlight, that'll be one reason for your... Um, for your mental health problems and it's easy for me to sit and say get up off your bum and do something about it but when you are when you're sort of sitting there it's very difficult to try and find the motivation well i i, I hope that once you realize that what your body can do for you that it'll give you a little bit motivation but a little bit more motivation to try and do it now what do we do when we're not feeling up to it we sit and we binge on netflix or we scroll through social media um, we maybe buy a cake or a sweetie or something like that and light up the brain that way and while we're doing that we're looking at, at, at social media and Facebook and uh, nobody ever posts anything bad on Facebook about their life really do they I mean I know some people do but they're over overwhelming well when I was on it anyway it was overwhelming people overwhelmingly people would be posting their lives were great and I'm sure in some aspects they were but it's, it is a bit fake that because not everything's a hundred percent a okay, is it? So when we're but when we're in this depressive state and we're binge eating and binge watching Netflix and then we log into Facebook and see maybe some somebody you went to school with that's getting on with their life and they look great or whatever, that then contributes to to, to further mental health problems um, because you start to feel inferior and you start to feel low. And you start to feel worthless. I've been there. I've absolutely been there. I was there for years and years and years. And I never, I, 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 just, I still don't know how I got out of it. Some days I pinch myself and wonder how I got out of it. But here I sit. Um, and, and that means that if there was hope for me, there's hope for you. And there's hope molecules within your body body. And all you need to do is get moving and release them. Now, I've said this many times as well, but I'll say it again. There is no point. That's where I was going with that riff before I was saying. There's, there's no point in setting yourself up um, and saying right like for example like I just said there my routine that I do now would have depressed me beyond well it, it would have depressed me beyond words there's no doubt about it um, uh, had you told me seven eight years ago that that's the routine I'd be in now we need to set our goals a little bit it's a little bit shorter if that's just going out outside and walking around the block for 10 minutes if you are genuinely in the house and you don't want to go out you don't want to meet people then Maybe that's a bit much. Maybe all you can do is stand in your garden for 10 minutes. But if you can manage to do that, having previously believed that you couldn't do it, and then you do it, you've done something that you previously didn't think you could do. And that means the sky's the limit. I know that's small and it's it might seem easy to some people, but it's hard for that person. So that means that you can accomplish anything. And, it, and, and it'll take longer. Now, my routine, and I'll just break it down. So... When I first started, I would just walk. I walked three miles. It's the same three miles that I run now. 
and I would slowly, slowly but surely just start jogging a little bit, then you add 10 press-ups to it, or 10 sit-ups, sorry, 20, and then 30, and you, when you feel ready, you move it up, and then when you're walking, you jog a little bit, and then you jog until you can't jog anymore, you feel tired, then you stop, and then when you feel like you do it, and then you do it again, and just keep doing it like that, keep working it like that. Now my routine, it's now up to, well in the morning what I'll do is, I'll do 50 squats, um, 100 pull-ups, 80 press-ups, 400 sit-ups and my cardio, whether that's a skipping rope or a run or that 3k run or that 3 mile run there I mentioned. Um, that's that. If you had told me that even 5 years ago, there's just that. like I say, it would have depressed me beyond words and I would have thought there's no way I'm going to do that and I would have thought negatively about it and because of that, it, it, it just doesn't get started, you just don't get anywhere. But if you say, well... I'm maybe not. I'm maybe not going to get there um, straight away, but at least if I start doing something like maybe just going to walk for a mile each night, and and like I say, in nature, if you can manage to do that in nature, you'll be doing yourself a, 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 a an amazing service. And fitness is a brilliant thing. It really is because it, it you become a better person. You become more alert. You, you're ready to learn more. Your brain's younger. It's 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 more it's more more alert to what's going on around it. You can you can become a better family member, a better parent, a better grandparent because I've seen it myself. I've my sister's just had a kid and he's he's hyper. He's, he's he requires a lot of attention, and I couldn't the, the attention I give him now, playing with him and all the rest of it and to the swings and all the rest of it and playing football outside. There is just no way I would have had the energy to do that six seven years ago. But because I've, I've, I've gotten myself into a routine of workouts and exercise and healthy eating, I'm, I'm, I'm a better uncle to them. And then you can become a better parent. I used to get this when I was younger. I mean, my dad, he, he take you places and all the rest of it. But there's some things where like, I'm a bit tired tonight because he's been out working and all the rest of it. But there's many people that go out working and can still exercise and do things with their kids. Um, so there's, there's so many benefits to it. And if you can take your kids into it, it's going to help them as well because... I mean, as I always do, I've, I've read some some studies like, and I'm, I'll post the links to them, but 14 to 7 year olds who use screens twice as, are twice as likely to be diagnosed with depression. And that's 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 a study. That is that is an absolute study. I'll just read a, I'll read a, 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 a small part from it. Just bear with me a second here. Um, where is it? Uh, yeah, the links between physical activity and mental health are acutely true for children and young people as well. A large study from Norway showed that physically active, uh, physically active teenagers in team sports had higher self-esteem and life satisfaction, and that's true for everyone. And um, I'm living proof of that, particularly for senior high school girls. This was also true for university students, where a clear association was found between inactivity and poor mental health, self-harm and suicidal attempts. But trends are going the wrong way. Young people are spending more time on devices. And I've just said there, when you're on a device, you're, you're, you're thinking totally different. You're, you're in a different world, because that's what it's designed to bloody do to you. Um, you're not living in reality, because you're, you're looking, everybody posts, it's all fake. Oh, it's fake online, like, it's, it's, it's just for show. And it can make you feel inferior, and I'm, I, I honestly don't get caught in that because it's it's not real. And anyone that does look successful, you don't see what they've had to put into that to get to that point. You don't see where they were before it. So I, I would uh, just just remember we're all human. Um, spend more time, unless taking part in sport and other physical activities. This is ex this has significant ramifications for mental health. A study of 40,000 children in the US found that after more than one hour per day of use, screen time was associated with less curiosity, lower self-control, less emotional stability and lower psychological well-being. Among 14 to 17-year-olds, 17 year I've just said, those who used screens throughout the day were, more, were twice as likely to have been diagnosed with a depression in later life, with the stress of adolescence, whether peer pressure, post-COVID-19 trauma, Exam, isolation, uncertain economic futures, um, sport, especially a team sport, is a good protective measure for mental health. And it mentioned COVID there, and so actually one of the government studies that I looked at, I'm going to read a little bit from that in a second, um, it was actually published in August 2020, uh, coincidentally enough, when they were trying to keep everyone in the bloody house and stopping them from going out in nature and doing these things. But that was just a brief rundown there um, of the 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 the... the, the effects of not doing the right thing with regards to your body. Now, I've said it many times, if you've got children, it's more difficult, but why not include them in it? 
Why not do it together? Why not try and, I don't know, go a family walk in a woodland somewhere? I know people in cities, it's, it's a lot more difficult, but I've lived in a couple of cities and there's always green pastures there that you can visit. Um, and I'm sure many people do it even now, um, even though they're watching this video. But try and do it more. Try and contract your muscles more. Because the more you do it, the more you'll drop these proteins into your bloodstream and they'll carry into your brain among the dopamine and all the rest of it that you get that you get um, from it as well. Now this, this is the study I mentioned that was po um, posted in August 2020 and it's called the stress, the, the, the label it, the, it's just a small part, but they label it the stress reduction theory, SRT in brackets, Describe, describes how spending time in nature might influence feelings or emotions by activating the parasympathetic nervous system due to stress and autonomic arous arousal because of people's innate connection to the natural world. Further proponents of biophilia hypothesis postulate that green spaces provide children with opportunities such as discovery, creativity, risk-taking, mastery and control, which positively influence different aspects of brain development. And that, that's, that's a scientific study, um, along with the, the, with the, with the myokine, the myokines. If you can manage to combine those two, be doing exercise in nature, you will see a drastic improvement in your life quality. I, I, I know that for a fact. I've got a brother, as I've said, who was overweight, who was slightly heavier than me. My mum had, was the same, and they've both done... Based, not exactly what I've been doing, of course, you tailor it to your own needs and what and what your interests are. Um, but they've changed their life as well, and at times where they're, well, you're maybe getting a bit thin, but it's just it's 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 because they're used to seeing weight on you. It's a pro, it's a byproduct of feeling better. Um, it's not about looks; it's about feeling better, and your looks are just a byproduct of that. They will fade eventually, but the feeling doesn't as long as you keep bloody exercise and it's mind over matter if you don't mind it doesn't matter but so many people they're, they're caught in their heads and like i said there they're spending a lot of time on social media and they're looking at the person across the street they've just got a new car probably in finance but even still it it's it, it makes you think that they're doing better when they're when when they're probably just doing the same or not as good even um Try and get the screen time down. I mean, I'm trying to do that as well. I, I was bad for running around the woods with my with, with my with my tunes on, and I still do it. Um, I do put it on airplane mode now, but I'm 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 actually going to have to start getting used to uh, running around there without that because it's and, and I actually done it the other day there for the first time. Um, it's and I did feel better after it. There's even though it's been on airplane mode every single time. Um, I did feel better after it. So. It's just a case of sort of making a start. That's it. That's all we need to do, people, is just make a start. Just go a walk. If you drive to the shops to get your dinner, walk instead. And like I say, the more you do that, it's like, well, for example, I'll give you an example. When I first started, uh, 100 sit-ups just to kill me. It really did. It was It was like to the point where I was feeling sick. But I managed to push it up to two, and there's times where it's really, really sore, like, and it, I, like the last few weeks has just been, it's been like I've never done it before, honestly, it's just, it's been absolute torture. There's, when I've been doing sit-ups, like the second, the, the second 200, like, before I do my cardio, I've, 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 I've honestly been feeling like I'm going to be sick, and like, in here, it's been really, really sore the other night there, it was the right-hand side, last night it was the left, it seems to have passed now, and it is sore, of course it is, um, but you need to try and push through it. And you just need to make a start and you'll get to whatever level you want. I, like I say, I pinch myself sometimes because I do. I wonder, I wonder how I've done it sometimes. And, and, and many people I know will probably wonder the same. Um, no one is more surprised than me. I can, I can promise you that. But that just comes from having a bit of belief in yourself. It's like, forget what the pub experts have told you. Forget about what your pals are saying if they're being negative with you. Forget about what the guys are saying at work if you're a younger person and, oh, it's, that's all nonsense. Just, if you believe it, you believe it. Just put it into practice. Because, I mean, I used to get that. Oh, that's all nonsense. You'll never be able to do that. But then I went and put it into practice. It disappeared. You put it into practice. You don't tell anybody what you're doing and then show them what you're doing once you've done it. That, that, that's, that's it. That is a recipe for success. And it's also a good recipe for keeping yourself to yourself and minding your own business. And then you've also got to get the ego in check as well because the ego is a big part of who we are and 
The ego causes a lot of problems. It did for me, and pride can be... Uh, sometimes you need to swallow your pride. It's as simple as that. Um, but please don't let anyone stop you from doing it. I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, I used to... When I used to... I used to want to run around the woods for years, and I used to always look for times of the day where no one would be there, where I could do it without anyone seeing me. But see, the more I thought like that, the more people you run into. And it wasn't until I decided in 2020, right, I'm going to have to start walking at first, walk a little bit, like I said before, and then, and, and then take it like that. So set smaller goals. There's nothing wrong. You've got, you've got to win the small victories first, and then the larger ones will come later. It's like I've said many times, one small step is one small step. But you keep doing that over, the, over a period of time at the bottom of a mountain, you'll find yourself at the top of it before too long. And that's the way you need to look at it. And as Jordan Peterson says, once you've done that, yes, you can look back and, and, and have a little a, a little rest and brilliant heart, a nod of the head to it. But then you look to the next town. And that's 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 the secret to life. I said this to my sister the other week there. I said, the secret for me to life is, or the secret to life for me is, is training yourself not to worry despite having reasons to worry. That's the secret, because if you can do that, and the more often you can do that, the more you'll connect with the... With, with, I mean, because there's, there's a beat, there's a, there's a life beat, there's a galaxy, a life beat at the centre of the galaxy, and apparently stress, fear, worry, all that stuff, it cuts you off from it. Um, that's why we need to stop all that, we need to train our mind not to do those things, because it's, it's cutting you off for who you really are, it's holding you in a state of fear, um, and you're not going to... You're not hitting the vibrations of life, it's just not going to happen, because you're, you're, you're in this rigid, square, bloody box, where you're worried what everyone else thinks, and you'll not move, and you'll not do this, and you only do what you think people are going to approve, that they'll, that, 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 or that what other people approve that you're going to do, and it's just, it's just not worth it, I mean, life's, um, there's, life's magic, it's amazing, it is absolutely amazing and we're always going to have reasons to stress and reasons to worry. And I'm not saying just because you're exercising you're not going to get stressed out. I still get stressed out every now and again. Um, of course I do. But that's another benefit to, to, to um, uh, exercise. It helps in stress reduction. I remember when I was overweight, see if something went wrong, I would automatically just heat up and start sweating. Don't get that anymore. Yeah, I get a sweat on and I get up and you get a bit rowdy and you think, what's going on here? But you can handle it better. And that's because you're fitter. So you don't get as stressed out. And that's, I mean, think of the benefits to that to your heart and your blood pressure. And that's another thing about nature. Nature, it's been shown to lower blood, blood pressure. Every time I'm out, I walk. Just a nice walk with my bottle of water. Sometimes chuck some water over me and it cools me down. And it's just, it, it's be, because when the blood pressure drops, the body empties the bladder. And I've had that happen a couple of times when I've been in nature and it, it amazes me like it really does. Um, so that's that. That's just some of the benefits to it. And I'm lucky I'm here in Scotland. I mean, I can walk just there and I've, and I've got it. It's literally my back garden. Um, it's, 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 I'm very, very lucky when there was times where I would curse where I was living um, because I thought, well, it's not a big enough set. It's not a big, there's not enough happening. There's plenty happening now. Um, and I dictate that. And that all started with me putting one foot in front of the other and walking that route to that stone up there, that three mile, whatever it is. And that's where it began. And then just slowly but surely you add some more. So I was doing 100 sit-ups for, 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 for ages, for years. And then it went up to two. It's now up to four. Just at the start of the year, I added 100 press-ups to that and pull-ups. There's more pull-ups to it as well. You've just got to keep adding and adding and adding. Nine reps of weights is... I don't do a lot of weights um, because I do calisthenics is better for the body. Um, in my opinion, I don't I don't think you need to do a lot of weights. Um, calisthenics is basically using the body to build the body. Um, it is definitely the best way, in my opinion. You don't need to wait to get some money together for a gym membership. So many people are... I'm sick of people saying that to me. Just waiting to get some money together for a gym membership. It's like, well, you can save yourself the bother, mate. You don't need to. Have you got a, well, I do need to. And it's like, well, have you got a road? Well, yeah, we'll use it then. Or a, there must be a field somewhere that you can run around. And you're saying that, I've people, even people that's been unemployed have said that to me, and it's like, so you're waiting till you get a job before you get a gym membership. The chances of you getting a gym membership when you get a job is slim. And they say, why? Well, because you're sitting there doing nothing now, waiting to get a job to get a gym membership, when actually you could be starting, right, fair enough, you've got no money for a gym membership. 
but you could still get off your bum and start moving 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 your arse around a little bit and and, and, and making a start on it um, and getting into a routine so that when you do get into work you're into that routine and you might not even need to buy a gym membership it's just excuses people that's all it is people make excuses and I, I was the world's worst for it I'm not sitting here as an angel sitting I'm perfect and this is how I've always lived my life because I can assure you it's not and it's and I know it's not easy and I'll say it again sometimes wonder how I get out of it but it started by putting one foot in front of the other that that's all you need to do and whatever you choose maybe my mum goes swimming every day and the benefits that you can see it like it is amazing it's like pfft. and I've seen people that live into their 90s into their hundreds they take a swim every day and um, because it works every muscle group so if that's what it is you do that if it's a walk in nature like you do that and people that have got I know people that have got pets that pay somebody to walk their dog and I just think you're doing fair enough you're putting you're keeping someone in a business but you're doing yourself you're selling, you're selling yourself short, you're doing yourself out of this, what I've been talking about, the benefits of nature, and uh, contracting your muscles, and these people, what will they do though, to feel better, they'll go to the fridge, they'll get comfort food out, which is an addiction, and this is why so many people fail, because they don't treat food addiction as an addiction, or binge, binge eating as an addiction, and that is exactly what it is, I had similar symptoms for coming off that, as I did off hard drugs, one being that I couldn't sleep at night because I was so full of sugar before going to bed. It was three weeks before I, I could get a proper sleep. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, and I, every time I go shopping, I need to be... Um, I, I, need, I, I like Somebody said to me, oh, I can't do fasting because of this, this and this. And it's like, well, because she was a woman. It's like, well, I've spoke to many women and I've given it to a couple and it's worked for them. And then, oh, it's not going to work for me. And it's like, look, it's an addiction. I need willpower every time I go to B&M or Tesco or something, because you look at the, the, the sweet aisles, I mean, it's ridiculous, it's, it's jam-packed, full to the rafters, with bloody sweeties that are a fraction of the price that you get in the small convenience stores. And of course people are going to buy them, but every time I'm in there, okay, I indulge in some small things and then that's it, but I need willpower, because if I've not, then I'm going to just go back to, it's, it's so, it'd be so easy for me just to go back to those habits, and I've been struggling with it recently eating more ice cream than I should have been and but you've got to keep in mind I'm still working out but it's still not good for your body um that said if you are going to do it if you're overweight and you're walking every week or you're doing a little bit of exercise then you're going to last longer than someone who is underweight who's who's the correct weight who's not doing that so that's that's one thing I will say and it, it, it's going to take willpower it takes belief in yourself but you have to remember you've got an energy within you there's an energy within it. every single one of us we're all part of this one energy and it, it's got the power to create happenings you've got the power to create happenings whatever happenings you want some take longer than others the bigger obstacles the big ones the people that can dream big and stick with it they'll take longer and it'll be harder but when you get there it'll be more worth it but you don't have to think like that. You can think in small scale. And then once you get the small victories, then you can start to think a little bit bigger. And that's what builds the confidence. And if you can do that, you're on to a winner. I want to thank you for watching this video. And I hope, honestly, I hope you took something from it. Even if only 10 people can say, well, actually, that's going to get motivate me to do some workouts, even get out in nature, to contract my muscles, to get these bloody antidepressants into my, into my, or these things that act like antidepressants, into my bloodstream and into my brain. Even clear, I've even seen it clearing brain fog and my memory's been, been brilliant recently. I mean, it was bad before. I think it had something to do with that um, shillage stuff, or whatever you call it. Um, but I suppose the way you look at it, isn't it? it? It just depends. Like I say, I've been overindulgent in sweeties recently and that's probably contributing to it as well. So no, nobody's perfect. We've all got our battles. Again, I want to thank you. Um, I've got another couple of videos coming. Um, this was supposed to be part of another video, but I decided to split it into two because the, the connection, the dot connection was light like. So I just I'll record the next one. I'll either be straight after this or tomorrow. Um, and then I've got a DWP one coming as well. So um, just look out for them getting posted. Thank you very much uh, for watching me. Honestly, I really appreciate it. And I, and, and I hope you get something for this. And, 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 and perhaps this is your first step to, to, to obviously living the life that you want to live. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next one.